This is Ashley's morning pose. Hello everyone. Oops, I'm sleepy. The little model. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So we're kind of getting the routine of things. In the morning, we go take a bath, and then right after her bath, she'll poop on me. <laughs> <laughs> or burp up. And? And then we go outside for a little uh, sun. morning sun walk. We just finished doing that. She was just wide awake. Now she's zonking out again. <laughs> it's about time to eat. But a good day. And actually today was a very cool day. She, it was the first day, it was right before her bath. Mm -hmm. The very first time she smiled at me. <laughs> she was look, she was just, she just woke up. She was looking all around. She made eye contact with me mm -hmm. and she smiled. <laughs> I'm not sure that didn't do. <laughs> It's the very first time, so it was really cool. All right, we'll let see you, you later, wake later. up and get some food, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs>my second time out. I was actually out here around like five-ish. I had to go get some um, medication and stuff. We got some um, Moringa pills, like supplements, and also we're gonna get some Moringa to eat with their meals every day. And right now I'm gonna go get some fish soup, which also has Moringa in it. So some of you guys were uh, commenting about getting some Moringa for Richie. It's really good for her, uh, like breastfeeding and stuff. But anyway, that's my many times I'm coming out here to get some extra uh, food. There's a um, pharmacy right there. Um, you can get some food here. Lots of manga, very good. And also some fish. Good thing these uh, outside little stores are closed. I walked inside, gave her to your food, the soup. I forgot the rice. How can I forget the rice? So I'm back out here to get the rice and then go back. Then I'll eat some breakfast and then it's almost time for Everly to eat again. She, eats at, she breastfeeds every two hours. So anyway, so this is our morning. We'll see you guys later. thing was not formed when they put this on. Her veins are so tiny, they're having a hard time finding one. So they must have tried probably four or five different times and it was so hard to watch. It must have been very painful. But luckily they got it in and there's only maybe two days left, three days left with this. Mm -hmm. So then after that, hopefully does she doesn't have to keep taking the medication, the antibiotics. And then with this, I think it's, they said up to two weeks. So we're not sure how much longer we'll be doing this for, but we'll see. Just taking it day by day, but the yellow is actually a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yesterday she was mm -hmm. pretty yellow, you could tell. Mm -hmm. But today, especially out in the sun, you could really tell. Is she just back to her normal color? So I think it is helping. I'm gonna make sure your eyes are covered. Alright. At least she's sleepy. It's hard to do this when she's wide awake and moving around.
All right, guys, so I'm in the process of getting all the paperwork together for uh, the birth certificate for our daughter. Uh, so I'm making the rounds. Um, I got to go back and get my passport. And then, uh, yeah, so we are starting that process if, for those that are interested. Um, so very soon after that, we'll be getting, um, you know, for the U.S. citizenship and then all those things. So we can get the baby and then Richie eventually back to USA so we can go back and forth and visit more freely and easily. So that's the first step. Um, a lot of things to do. Uh, I still have to go back uh, to the house and uh, check on the workers. We got to order some more materials for the terrace and then get that going and hopefully we can move in soon. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I'm gonna start doing that stuff and then um, I'll update you when we know some more information. All right guys, made it home just for a quick update. Had to grab a few things here. Alright, so I'm gonna head back and do some more errands. I'll check back in next couple days. Cocoa juice, cocoa water. Alright guys, a good day. The sun is setting. We got some queen play in the background. So Richie sent me in a scavenger hunt today. Got some bananas, banana cue she wanted, coconut water, which is awesome. They don't all open it for you like this and put the meat in there for you. So I found one that did. So this is nice when they put it in here. You don't have to carry the whole coconut with you. And then some mangoes and I think oranges and grapes. So there we go. I'm gonna go hand this off to Princess and Queen and we'll go update with them, see how they're doing. All right guys, so I just got back. Everything is getting some exposure in here. Her coloring is really going down, the yellow color. So it's working. And I'm about to go try to get the birth certificate, but I think they're probably closed right now. Mm -hmm. But at least I think we have everything to get that going. Did I get everything that you asked for? That's barbecue. All night, all tonight. <laughs> I can help <laughs> if you let me. And these are the kind of bananas that are pretty good. They're the bigger kind, but they're really good as peanut butter. In. I yeah. requested coconut. Looking forward to that one. Yes. And they put the meat in there too. Mm -hmm. That's two coconuts right there. I think there's two separate uh, mm -hmm. plastic baggies too. Wow. wow. Grapes. Mm. It's just a design. Don't eat. <laughs> Ever heard that joke that duck walked into a bar? Why? And he asked for grapes. Why? <laughs> It's just a funny joke. I'll, I'll tell you. To, I'll, I'll tell it to you later. <laughs> I don't even remember what else I got. Oh, mm, orange. Mm. I only got a couple because we got we still yeah, have more. But oh, these are bigger kind. I, I didn't want to pass those up. The other ones we got were smaller, but they're really really juicy and mm. sweet and good. Yeah. But those look pretty yeah. pretty good. And <laughs> everyone's favorite when they come to the Philippines. Mingo. The other one actually looked really, yeah, that's a big one. There's Papa Mingo. There's Mama Mingo. Oh, really? <laughs> I think this is Mama Mingo and Papa Mingo. This is pregnant Mingo. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. This is your uh, joke. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you can eat the Papa Mingo. <laughs> All right, so it is it is 5.30. I think I'm going to hurry up and try to get the birth certificate this going. This one, you cannot go out. If we will not settle this work as soon as possible. Oh, you can't leave the hospital until mm -hmm. you get that settled? Like, for example, we are already discharged and we are not finished with that one. We will stay here until we finish. Wow, so that's something that is important to do. Yeah. <laughs> right. We still have time though. Yeah, we still probably have another week or two. Hey guys, good afternoon. So we're just kind of hanging out. 
starting to feel like home here. She's feeding the baby. So, uh, some news, they did inform us that we should be keeping the baby in here for 24 hours. Like, of course, you take her out for feeding, for bathing, for changing diapers and things like that. But, like, they said pretty much she should be there for, like, all the time when she's not. So, we'll see. The hardest part is, it's really easy when she's sleepy, because she just goes in there, she closes her eyes, and she sleeps. We just check on her to make sure it's covering her eyes. But the hard part is when she's awake, because she moving around, her eyes are open, and that's not good for the light. But anyway, she is looking better. Um, our neighbors, it was four days, and the yellowish color is gone, so I think they're discontinuing, so we're hoping that we'll, the same will be with Everly. And we can tell she is looking better. Let's kind of show this way. Probably too much to be done, but anyway, she, her color, is uh, improving but it was kind of scary the first day well the very first day or evening whatever time it was she was very lively and then the very next day we didn't we, we didn't know anything about the condition um, you know and uh, she was very lethargic uh, very hard to feed she was very sleepy and I know that's probably normal for babies, but uh, her eyes were kind of not really focusing. So I kind of thought something was up. So I had a doctor come and look at her more closely. And he did notice that she was a little yellowish in color. And he suggested that we get blood work to go get it tested. And she was high. But looking back, uh, you know, she was just very droopy, very kind of out of it. That next day, First when she was born, she was fine. She was very lively. That's why it kind of alarmed me because she was just a, such a big difference between that and the next day. Uh, anyway, so a good thing we did get the blood work and the doctor looked at her. So here's yes. really Now she's waking up. She just had some food. <laughs> she's passing out again. But it is nighttime now, so that's usually when she... Oh, no, she should be waking up soon. Yeah. What, I'm not even sure what time it is. 7.15. So, usually, maybe a couple more hours she'll be waking up to be up at night time. She sleeps a lot during the day. And we just let her do whatever she wants right now. If she's tired, she can sleep. We're not gonna... Well, the one thing we are strict about is she has to eat every two hours because that helps flush um, the toxins out. Um, so we're making sure we feed her every two hours we're very strict and then we put her in here under the uv light um so all these things should help and i think this is just something that's going to be fine and then she'll be uh once her color is back it will discontinue this and hopefully maybe we can go home soon after that this did extend our stay we we'll probably have another week with the uv light the light therapy but, um, I think the medication, the antibiotics, is another three days, I believe. But yeah, I'll let you guys see that really. You guys don't want to see me. <laughs> I don't want to show the name. Yeah, she's not feeding. Yeah, she's not feeding. So how did the feeding go? Looks like a success. There is a drunk <laughs> mustard. Yeah, what's in that milk? <laughs> So this is kind of our night. Uh, you can kind of see it's like our little hotel room. We got some grapes. We got a fan. We almost got everything we need here. Drying something. What? Drying something. Yeah, then we got uh, hanging some clothes. My hat up there. There's a sleepy baby. <laughs> But today was a good day. Uh, her color is better. We went mm -hmm. outside in the morning, uh, got her some sunlight, natural sunlight, when it wasn't so hot. The mornings are the best, and in the evening. So I'm kind of let the air enjoy. I'm going to run around <laughs> all day with the less 
list of things that Richie wants me to get. Mm -hmm. So it's been it's been good. Uh, life is good. We're happy. We're just yesterday was just scary. Uh, wow. Just because not knowing what's going on. Yeah, it was just shocking to know that oh, we, we will still stay here for long and then we don't know, we didn't know that, you know, she's gonna be in this life and cover her eyes. So. Yeah. But so far it's it's improving her so it's good. Yeah, she, we can see the improvements with her skin color and just her mood and everything. So I think it's everything's good. And they got the IV, and that was the biggest thing yesterday. She was crying. Like, probably most of you have heard a baby cry, but you know, not all of you have heard a baby scream with agony. And, like, it's like there's nothing you can do, you know? It's like there was much needed for to get the IV in. And, uh, I closed the door, I stayed here, and let Dustin go there. I said, I don't want to listen to cry, so you just do. And then, like, the, after each break, it was probably like a, you know, a few minute break and after she screamed or head off, they take a break, have a rest. So she'd fall asleep during this time She's and she looks so peaceful and calm and then, you know, they're getting ready to do it again. So I'm sitting there holding, like, holding the baby, making sure she doesn't kick because they're about to do it in her leg. And uh, I just knew she was about to wake up, start screaming, and of course she did. But that last time they didn't finally find her again. But very uh, professional, good doctors here. They are they're doing a great job at everything. So we're very happy with everything here. And so all we want is a healthy baby. So and she is. We just got to get through this next week or two with the light therapy. And she's she'll be absolutely fine. So far, that's good. Okay. Uh -huh. So this might be the end of the video. We're not sure. We're just gonna chill out and eat some grapes. And we have some oranges, some mangoes still we have to eat. And yeah. So life is good. Yeah, thanks for the tips with like the moringa. So we did end up getting uh, her mom brought some moringa soup. And we got some moringa pills, supplements. So we're good with that. And uh, drinking lots of liquids. Um, yeah, feeding uh, the baby with a few times or every two hours to flush the toxins out. So right now it's her sleeping time. But she should she probably be up later tonight. Yesterday we were pretty much up all night. <laughs> Alright guys. Today's a good day. And we'll probably see you next video. I can't promise one, but we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye bye. Bye Everly. Hmm. What are you dreaming about? <laughs> <laughs> bigger in, in the camera, right? I mean the face. <laughs> yeah, she's probably getting bigger every day. Mm -hmm. When she was born, somebody last, I tried to reply to as many comments, but she's like, mm, someone oh, asking 6.7 6. pounds? I think. 6.7 pounds, um, I think, something like 2.9 kilograms. Two, but, yeah. so, Someone's asking how about her weight. And what's her length? I'm not sure, but they will give us never, a paper. I was never told that. Oh, and one thing I did try to do today was get the get, uh, Everly's birth certificate. They were closed. So they probably closed around 5-ish. I was there. I got there at 5.30. So at least we have everything we need now mm -hmm. to go get that going. And then when that, I guess we can't leave until we get that anyway. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to get that. And then the next step is to get, like, uh, probably go to the embassy or something in Cebu and get that going. Hopefully it all resolves and then we can get, make it easy to go uh, take a trip to the United States to visit my family because I know there's a lot of people that want to meet Everly and Richie. Mm, no, they don't really care about family. me. <laughs> Maybe you can just take a trip at all. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I can't wait to see my mom and dad, my grandma, my brother, my sister, my cousin, my nieces, my nephews. Everybody, yeah. So we have a lot of, a lot of people to see in the United States too. So... Alright, we love you, mom and dad, all my family, my friends. Hopefully, we can see you guys soon. Can't wait to see you all. Yeah. With Everly Cave.
What's your nickname? Do you have a nickname for her yet? Dustina. Dustina. <laughs> <laughs> a nickname is supposed to be something shorter. Kitty. Kitty. No, just Kitty. Just Kitty? Like, Kitty? Hi, Kitty. <laughs> no, just Kate or... Yeah, maybe. They'll probably just come out naturally one day. K is pretty easy, because just like one, one word, one syllable. K. It's funny when kids get in trouble, you say like their full name. Like, you're like, Justin <laughs> Richard Borgland, get over here. <laughs> it's just cool like that. <laughs> so, uh, the middle name would be Ad Adoptante. Yeah. So, Everly Kate is like her first name, mm -hmm. and Adoptante would be a middle name, and then it's the Last name is Borgland. Yeah. So that's, that's the name. That's the birth certificate. And then we get that going, so yeah. All right, guys. So th this is I'll show you guys what they had to put on. That's the IV. So that was. We, we can't wait to get that off. All right, guys. We're just gonna hang, we're just gonna hang out here. We'll see you guys later. Feeding time again.